Welcome! I'm Dr. David J. Hastings, PhD, Dean of Habitology University, and your host for this fifth 23 Secret Keys to Way Better Your Life, Dr. David Talks, Way Better NAR, titled 23 Keys, Origins 3. Now, Origins 3 is exciting because it provides several secret keys which unlock many How One Truly Works mystery vaults, whose treasures, by gifting definitive answers, decisively excel one's journey toward becoming all one can be. Before continuing the informative, revealing, and intriguing next Way Better Than Our episode, I'm donning my Habitology University Dean Chapeau, okay, it's, it's invisible, for about 90 seconds to share two reminders and three highlights. First reminder, when interacting with Way Better NARS, please, please, please insert the Way Better NAR reference ID in the subject line of your email to drdavidtalks.wbylwaybetteryourlife at gmail.com because it facilitates applicable response. For instance, this Way Better NARS reference ID is capital S01 colon, capital M02 colon, capital T03. Second reminder, all Way Better Nar transcripts, as well as any supporting graphics, are all posted on the Habitology University website, tagged with the category WBYL, again, Way Better Your Life, dash 23 S keys, 23 secret keys. Both are easy to access by either typing Habitology University blogs into your browser search engine, or saying Habitology University blogs to your mobile device. The first highlight of three, as of June 21st, 2020, yesterday, Habitology University is pleased to announce that 16 1500 US dollar scholarships and 12 1000 US dollar bursaries are available for qualifying applicants. Second highlight, Habitology University is very, very thankful to not only patrons who provide donations to assist students with course fees and curriculum tangibles, but also those appreciative of these way better NARs who contribute various amounts via email transfers to donations.habitologyuniversity at gmail.com. That's donations.habitologyuniversity at gmail.com, all one string, no spaces, as usual. So, students, and we thank all supporters so very much. Final highlight, Habicity is continuously seeking motivated instructor and coach personnel to collaboratively propel its professional career path programs, which attract a diverse student population due to Habicity's flexible open source or leave none with passion to excel behind admissions policy. Feel free to apply online. Thank you for your attention. At this point, important is to understand all possess two brains, whose neural configurations and purposes vary substantially. Habicitology coins their affiliation, the self-duo. One member of the self-duo, coined body self, is commanded by what is popularly but inaccurately called the primitive brain, Actually, body self is driven by an amazingly steadfast, reflexive survival brain. Body self's outbound purpose is rapid actioning of safety and survival protocols. Outbound protocols are handled by its action trio mechanism, which is naturally configured to perform rapid selection and deployment of safest so far response patterns. The self duo graphic will be going up in the next couple of web way better NARS, and you'll be able to see all of the mechanisms for each of the self duo members. 
Rapid selection, though, by Action Trio is made possible in part due to the linear configuration of body self neural real estate. For now, think of a body self current new and archived old frequency element, a memory if you like, small little piece of memory, as a single note on a piano perhaps. Thus, when body self current new is employed to pinpoint a same archived old frequency, body self element out can, outcome rather can only be dichotomous. It's either found or it's not found. Thus, location of same occurs very rapidly and very rapidly is the key for body self. Important to note, response patterns are not static but are created and evolve as a consequence of sensory acquisition from body self sensory arrays, which encompass all external and internal sensors, excluding visual sensors, or so-called sight, which is explained a little farther along. More specifically, safest so far, sorry, safest so far pattern response selection from Action Trio's data archives is accomplished by frequency matching. That's the way the universe works. It frequency matches same, current new to archived old. Now, in order to spirit appropriate to current new body self movements, body self movements that are appropriate to current new, in other words, selected pattern responses also provide the links between the sensory occurrence sites or sensory array impact locations and the neural connections to appropriate body self musculature to get one out of harm's way as quickly as feasible. This ensures one does not grab their thumb when one stubs their toe. In other words, to keep one's safest patterned responses are the body self strategies that drive current sensory event appropriate physical actions which mitigate or interact with what's going on out there this three millisecond instant. Although probably not clear at the moment, understanding body self actioning contribution to how one truly works, which will be enhanced as way better NARS continue disclosures, flourishes a huge ramifications for getting what one truly wants. Mind-self, or one's cognitive brain, is the other member of the self-dual collaboration. As a quick, but by no means comprehensive, body-self, mind-self comparison, mind-self data archives vary substantially in that their frequency elements are retained not in the single note mode of body self, archived old or current new, but instead as complex harmonic frequencies, like, like the momentary complex frequency sound fusions of a symphony orchestra. Species defining, species defining is that mind self mechanisms are capable of not only same comparative analysis, but also significantly similar archived old retrieval. Also, mind self has far more complex and demanding tasks to handle than its body self companion. For instance, tasks it must handle such as comparative analysis of its visual sensory array generated current new to its specialized visual sensory array archived old that one unquestioningly relates to a site but isn't for the discussion later on that plus timely handling of body self to mind self requests for assistance which are generated as a consequence generated by body self that is as a consequence of an event a sensory event being unrecognized and or high intensity the found or not found part talked about earlier. So unrecognized is not found and recognized finds that. More on this in the next way better now. Specifically though, mind self is charged with not only integration, assessment 
and proactive solutioning from two sources, right? The first one is body self sensors and the second are visual sensors from mind self. So the two sources, its own visual sensors and body self cognitive alerts, but also it's responsible for configuring and subsequently transmitting its tailored what is going on out there solutions called test its because they're progressive to body self. So body self's action trio can appropriately integrate an action mind self's applicable to current new action request resolutions. That's what drives us. Now, as way better than ours, disclosures progress, much more will be presented regarding self duo's implications to getting what one truly wants. Fascinating stuff. Suffice it for now to know that two explicitly orchestrated self duo interfaces exist. Body self to mind self. That happens via cognitive alerts. They're called warning mind self of Yes, unrecognized and or high intensity sensory events, which are also called problematic. And mind self to body self notifications via five uniquely tailored test it action request types that differently inform body self of its progressive mind self resolution so the two can interact together. The next way better NAR will continue exposures of self dual functionalities of course that have direct implication for your getting what you truly want and becoming all you can be now the reference id for the dr david talks just watched is capital s01 colon capital m02 colon capital t03 your feedback of course is always appreciated so interact and contribute by sending an email to Dr. David Talks, WBYL at gmail.com. Dr. David Talks dot WBYL, way better your life at gmail.com, a long string, no spaces again, with the way better in our reference ID just mentioned only, please, in the subject line. Until the next way better in our, stay safe. Thank you for your time and much appreciated.